Hello people, this video is going to be all about my birth plan and helping you make your birth plan. Okay, so first of all, I want to say that a birth plan, it's really simple to make. It shouldn't take you that much time. Maybe it should take you some time to like research the things that you're going to put in your birth plan. Um, but actually making one shouldn't take that much time or effort. You don't have to be fancy and type it up. You can handwrite it. I am going to show you what I did. Um, Mama Natural makes this template online that she emails you if you request it and it's amazing so I'm gonna share that with you but sorry I got interrupted story of my life I don't even know what I was saying it's been so long um, birth plan so basically I want to just cover just some quick tips for you when you're making your birth plan try to make it as simple as possible um, the less words the better nurses are busy they have a lot of patience and um, the less that they have to actually read. So like making paragraphs about what you want and why you want it, it's not really the best thing. Um, I have a couple nurse friends who are labor and delivery nurses and they have discussed this topic with me. I've asked them questions and they've actually said, I've heard rumored that some nurses make bets on like whether you're going for an all natural birth or if you have a doula, they make bets on like when your doula is going to leave or when you're going to be asking for an epidural, all that kind of stuff. I hope that doesn't happen for real. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure it does. I don't know. Deep down inside, I really hope that that does not happen. Um, but I will say that I don't think a nurse will sit there and read like a research paper that you typed out. You know what I mean? So the less words, the better. Try to make it as simple as possible. And that's why I love this template that I'm about to show you from Mama Natural so much because it's um, it's pictures and then like just a couple of words to straight to the point. They know what they're doing. So if there's a shift change, new nurse comes in, they're not going to be sitting there reading your two page birth plan. They're just going to see the pictures, know what's up and get it going and hopefully be on your side about your birth and your the birthing experience that you want whatever that might be whether it's like all natural or you know not so natural you know that's the great thing about birth plans is that you get to customize it for what you want and need out of a birth plan so i'm probably going to zoom you in on this because i don't know if you're going to be able to see it i will say first thing you have to do is go like google mama natural birth plan template and her website will come up and you have to like request um, either the template or they have one already if you're like a natural minded mama they have one all ready to go for you um, or you can customize your own which is a great option as well so they email you the template you just download on your computer so so simple all right now that we have you all set up I'm behind you so I'm sorry if I'm super loud now okay so this is my computer this is the template that um, you, the Mama Natural website sends you, and this is the one that you can customize. So it's super awesome. So first of all, we have like Mama Natural birth plan. You can change that. Oop, I moved it. <laughs> you can change that. To, you can write your name on it. It's awesome. Also, let me zoom you in a little bit more because that, all right, can you read that now? I will explain it if you cannot. So the first section here is just during labor and you can opt like no pain medication if you know you can take these things out if you don't want them. Free movement, um, natural water rupture, intermittent moder monitoring, lights dim, water birth preferred, no episiotomy, and crown touching. So those are like the options that it gives you. You can take some of those out if they're not for you. You can obviously add stuff in too, just like after you print it, just, or you can maybe type it in after you print it, you can write it in whatever. If you have more options that you would like to add to that after delivery, the options, immediate skin to skin, delayed cord clamping, um, placenta to be saved. Sorry, I'm not pointing to the right things. Um, Partner to cut cord, breastfeeding, ASAP, no vitamin K, no hepatitis B, no eye ointment. Parent will bathe, um, whether that's at home, hopefully. If you've looked into the benefits of Vernix, you will wait um, at least, you know, at least one day, two days, three days. The, the longer you wait, the better. Um, delayed exams for bonding, 
and then down here it just gives you a bunch of other options um, to plug in wherever you want to pain meds only on request that's what this one says can you see that i hope you can see that. i'll zoom you in a little bit more um, this one says alternate alternate pushing positions um, no circumcision there, VBAC, one hour delay eye ointment. Please consult before food or meds um, for the baby. Limited visitors, food and water over IV. Bathing okay, no pacifiers. Eye ointment okay. Cesarean delivery, no students please. Gestational diabetes. Um, Pitocin only if necessary. No mirror and donating cord blood. So those are all the options that this template gives you. But as you can see, it's awesome. You, it's just so easy to move these things around wherever you want to um, put your, uh, yeah, your options. So I will share with you now my birth plan. Here it is. <laughs> so this is my birth plan. Took me about, oh, about two seconds to slap this together once I found um, when I was pregnant with my second someone created something like this and i was like this is amazing and i tried to create my own i failed miserably trying to find like <laughs> uh you know pictures so i just i literally had a piece of paper i wrote mine out on hand just like a scrapbook piece of paper and that was good enough for um, my nurses and good enough for me so this is my birth plan during labor i decided no pain medication if i can help it obviously um free movement as much as i can if i'm not being induced obviously if i'm induced i'm going to be having limited mobility since i will have like a five foot cord attached to pitocin drip um natural water rupture that is a huge deal for me because i had with my first birth um, the nurse kept coming in and she kept saying like, oh, I'm, I'm trying to break your water. And I was like, how long have you been trying to break my water? Please stop. Anyway, she told me that after the fact that she broke my water. So my waters broke and the next contraction immediately after was too much for my body to handle. I actually vomited because it was so intense. Anyway, so that's a big one for me. <laughs> Limited um, inter interjections or... I can't think of the word right now, but you know, I want, I want as little interjections as I can. I can't think of the word, but if I put it in, my pregnancy brain can think of it. I'll type it in. Um, intermittent monitoring. This one's a little tricky, especially if you're getting induced and it depends on what hospital you're being at. So, you know, this obviously is not set in stone. This is just my optimal labor and delivery plan. Not everything goes as planned. Um, intermittent monitoring water birth preferred i might take this one out because i don't even think that my hospital has a water birthing section and if i'm being induced obviously that's not really an option for me um well, what happened i highlighted it all um no episiotomy <laughs> last time i tore hopefully this time i don't tear but my babies come fast. Um, Pitocin only if necessary, obviously. After delivery, immediate skin to skin, delayed cord clamping, placenta to be saved. Yes, I'm going to encapsulate my awesome placenta. Partner to cut cord only after you wait at least a couple of minutes because I am on the delayed cord clamping deal. Um, breastfeeding as soon as possible. We're also asking that there's no vitamin K, no hepatitis B shots, no eye ointment, because uh, it's just not necessary for us. Parents will bathe. Last time I bathed my second when she was like four or five days old. Um, no circumcision if it's a boy. And that is my birth plan. So as you can see, it's super simple to follow. So that is my birth plan. Obviously, um, this is just my plan. I know that especially during labor and delivery, not everything will go as I plan or as I want it to. I've had people, I, I've heard of people uh, referring to labor and delivery as like packing your bags and planning a vacation to Orlando and ending up in like Kansas. You know what I mean? Because there are so many variables that happen while you're in labor and delivery, you know, the baby, you can't predict what's 
going on with baby, you can't really predict how your body's going to feel or how long your labor is going to be. You know, you can do everything perfectly during your prep, your labor prep, and still have so many issues. So this is a guideline. It's not set in stone and I understand that and I want to, I want you to be able to understand that too, is that if things don't go according to plan, it's okay and you know, make that leeway for yourself, get in your head and just accept that maybe not everything will go quite as perfectly as you want it to, even though you really want it to. And I know that feeling, trust me. So I hope you found this video um, informative. I do plan on making a video called something like, you know, 10 decisions that you need to make for your newborn that will probably help you out with making your birth plan. So keep an eye out for that. If I've already made it, I'll put it somewhere. And um, I think that is one of the most important videos that I'm going to make because um, it will have so much information for you, stuff that I had zero clue about with my first. So I think it's really important to get that information out there. Um, yeah, research as much as you can about labor and delivery and all of the options that you have after you deliver for your newborn and for yourself. And um, yeah, see if the hospital that you're going to deliver at has those options available. And I, ho I hope that they do, or I hope that you find the you know birthing community or situation that you want to be a part of. And um, I just want you to remember that it's your birth and it's your choice and I hope everything goes really well for you if you are due anytime soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye. Great. Okay, pickle ice flavored freeze pop. Why would you want a pickled flavored freeze pop? This is so weird. I know.